One of the key components of the Marcrest 210 baler is the raspy loop knotter, also known as the McCormick knotter. Its unique design offers a faster tie cycle and eliminates twine cutoffs that normally fall into the bale. If you're used to using the Deering style knotter that is commonly found on traditional balers, you'll notice some differences. Mainly, there is no knife arm. However, you'll find it simple when you see what's happening. Let's take a closer look at slow speed to understand how the raspy loop knotter works in the 210 baler. When the bale is ready to be tied, the needle first brings the bottom twine up around the bale. As the needle reaches the end of its stroke, two things happen. The twine finger pushes the bottom string backwards so that both twines are resting against the twine hook and leaning against the bill hook. At this point, the bill hook now starts to rotate, wrapping the twine around itself. When the bill hook has rotated halfway, the conical twine clamp also begins to rotate. As the conical twine clamp rotates, the hook intercepts the twine that is stretched from the needle to the bill hook, while the other twine begins to slip between the twine clamp. As the bill hook continues to rotate, the bill hook tongue opens, intercepting both twine stretched from the twine clamp to the bill hook. The bill hook has now finished its rotation, and the tongue has closed on the twine, applying spring force. The twine clamp continues rotating, releasing the first strand of twine. As the twine clamp continues rotating, the integrated knife cuts the new twine and clamps it tightly, ready to be used for the next bale. You will notice the knot is now almost complete, but remains held in the bill hook. The knot will remain in this position until the plunger inserts the next flake. This action pulls the knot from the bill hook, completing the knot. As the knot is pulled from the bill hook, the tails are pulled back through the knot, forming a loop. The bill hook's tongue opens, allowing the loop to release from the bill hook. The process is now complete. The bale is tied and the knotter is ready for the next bale. Let's take another look. The needle advances. The twine finger rotates back, pushing both twines into the twine notch. The two twines are in position and the bill hook begins rotating. The twine clamp also starts turning, grabbing the new twine strand and releasing the other. The bill hook is holding both strands and the knife cuts the twine. When the bale is pushed down the chamber, the new knot is pulled off the bill hook and a new bale is formed. The Raspy Loop Knotter is a reliable system that allows for faster cycling times and eliminates twine dropped in the bale and is an important component of the Marcrest 210 baler. Talk to your dealer for more information about setup and configuration guidelines.